Amen. Good day and good uh, afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever you are. My name is Reverend James Solomon, the author of Deliverance from the Money, Covenants, and Curses. I want us to pray one single prayer today. And I'm reading Galatians chapter 3, verse number 13. Galatians 3, 13. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law because he has been made a curse for us. Scripture says, curse is he that is hanged on a tree. The point I want us to pray about today is Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Listen, beloved. This is not automatic. You have to let the enemy know what you know. Some of us thought that because the scripture says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, it becomes automatic. No, there are certain things you need to do. One of it is what we are doing today. You make it clear. Let the enemy see it clearly that indeed you know what you're talking about. Speak it out. Pronounce it. Declare it. Let the kingdoms of darkness know that you know what you are talking about. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law because he's been made a curse. Because it is said, curse is every man that is hanged on a tree. So today, I'm here to reverse. I'm in agreement with you to reverse, to deactivate, to cancel every curse that is reigning and ruling over your heart, in your life, in your marriages. Whatever the curses that the enemy is implementing in your life, affecting your progress, your health, your future, your destiny, your life, whatever is working against you as a result of curses pronounced over your life by the wicked enemies, whatever the curse you are suffering currently now, Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Agree with me today. The curses are broken. Christ paid the price. I stand by the blood of the Lamb right now. All the curses in your bloodline, from your father line, from your mother's bloodline, that you are suffering. Curses that have been placed over and over your head because of where you originated from. Curses that is speaking evil, doom, failure, disappointment, frustrations into your lives because of the pronouncement from the kingdoms of darkness that is being implemented. Curses that have been reigned over your head for one reason or the other. Curses that is covering, entering into your destiny as a result of where you were born. Curses that is reigning and ruling in your businesses, in your health, in your in your lives, in the lives of your children. Curses that has not allowed you to enjoy the benefit of the Christ of the cross. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So I renounce. I reverse, I deactivate, I cancel and terminate every power of curses affecting you currently. Curses that the enemy is making you feel, this is where my life is like this. I know what I'm passing through. This is what my mom suffered. This is what my dad suffered today. Because Christ has redeemed you. Redeemed you simply means he had given you liberty over it. He bought you, he purchased you out of those curses with his own blood. For that reason today, all curses that is standing against you are reversed. I cancel them in the name of Jesus. I stand in agreement with you that curses that you are suffering now is terminated. Curses for your bloodline is terminated. Curses that reigned over you that has been real over your life, that the enemy has pronounced over you for one reason or the other, this day, I reverse it, I terminate it, and cancel it in the name of Jesus. Because Christ had redeemed you, simply mean he purchased you through his own blood. He rescued you through his own blood. And for that, today, I terminate the power of curses that has affected you. And I say they will no longer be effective over you from this moment on. Enjoy the benefit of, the, of Christ's sacrifices and his blood and death over you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord, because he has been made a curse for us. Thank you for the great work you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, my name is Reverend James Solomon. God bless you. I'll see you again.